Hello friends, welcome to the another new video on simulation of reactor in the styrene production process using ethyl benzene as a raw material. So styrene is made from the dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene. The reaction is taking place like ethyl benzene when dehydrogenation it gives styrene and hydrogen. The rate of the reaction is uh, given by the equation is minus R is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power 6 PA e raised to minus 85000 divided by RT where PA is the partial pressure which is 1.5 bar R is the universal gas constant which is given as 8.314 joules per mole degree Kelvin temperature is 830 degree Kelvin and the flow rate of ethyl benzene is 0.25 kilo mole per second uh, this the ethyl benzene enters in this plug flow reactor and we are getting the two product that is styrene and hydrogen. This reaction is a kinetic reaction. Now we'll start our simulation. So let us start once you open the Aspen Hysis. We have to select the three components involved in our process. First one is ethyl benzene. Second component is a styrene and the third component is hydrogen. If you type H, the hydrogen component will appear. Now you can see in our database we can have three components ethyl benzene, styrene and hydrogen. The fluid package is a Peng Robinson fluid package. We can select the Peng Robinson fluid package. Now here we have to do the additional step. Since the reaction is involved, we have to give the details of the reaction. So click on the reaction, click on add, then again click on add reaction. Now there are five types of reactions we can simulate by using Aspen Hysis. Since the production of styrene from methyl benzene is a kinetic reaction, we can select kinetic reaction, click on add. The reaction link is created over here, so we'll close this window. And then we have to double click on this reaction one. Now here you have to give the stoichiometry and the rate information about the reaction. So we have three components, methyl benzene, styrene and hydrogen. Now we have to give the stoichiometric coefficients of this uh, the component involved. If you see the reaction here, the ethyl benzene is a reactant and styrene and hydrogen are the product. So stoichiometric coefficient of the reactant will be always minus one and the product will be in the plus. As since the reaction means the one mole is involved of the ethyl benzene, we will take it minus one as a stoichiometric coefficient and plus one for styrene and hydrogen respectively. So we will enter the stoichiometric information. So stoichiometric coefficient for ethyl benzene is minus one and styrene and hydrogen are plus one since one one molar of styrene and hydrogen are produced. Now we have to give the information about the basis. So the basis for this is a partial pressure because the rate of the reaction is expressed in terms of partial pressure. So basis we have to select as a partial pressure. Base component is ethyl benzene. Reaction phase we are considering the overall reaction phase. Now this is a forward reaction so we have to enter the value of A is 4.5 U 10 to the power 6. So we have to enter E. E means 10 to 10 to the power and 6 means 10 to the power 6. Now E is 85000. Enter. Close this window and we have to add very important step. We have to add the fluid package to this set of the reaction. So add set to fluid package. Now the reaction is ready. We'll enter the simulation environment. Click on simulation. First select the material stream double click on that type the stream name as feed the temperature is 830 degree Kelvin pressure is 1.5 bar and the flow rate is 0.25 kg mole per second so select kg mole per second 
double click on this we have to enter the composition since this is a field field we have ethyl benzene there is no styrene present in the field so we'll enter 0 0 for styrene and hydrogen click on ok our field stream is ready now we have to select the plug flow reactor from this pellet window select the plug flow reactor double click on that you can give the name as plug flow reactor the inlet for the plug flow reactor is feed and outlet we have not defined so we'll type as a product now click on the parameter we are assuming there is no pressure drop we are assuming zero delta p then reaction we have to attach this reaction set one now we have to give the dimensions of the tube we'll see the volume of the tube is 0 0.1 meter cube and length is one meter it will automatically estimate the diameter of the tube required the number of tube is one this also we can change and this is a wall thickness void fraction will be one and the void volume will be 0 0.1 now our simulation part is complete we can see we'll first click on the auto position all and then we'll see what are the results we got it so if we click on the worksheet composition this is the final composition we got it started we got 0 0.4108 and same amount of hydrogen now click on the performance now here you can see the condition of the temperature pressure and other operating parameter with respect to the length of the reactor so you can click on the plot you can see initial the temperature how it is changing it was 830 degree Kelvin respect to the length of the reactor we can see also the pressure pressure is almost constant and the void fraction we can see this is constant duty is also constant so the first plot we can see the temperature changes with respect to the length of the reactor then also we can see the composition so click on the composition click on the plot so these are the three components ethyl benzene styrene and the hydrogen so we will select the three component ethyl benzene we can see the concentration of the ethyl benzene more fraction reduce with respect to the length of the reactor then we will select the styrene as a second component we can see initially how it is it is almost zero and then it increases with respect to the length of the reactor so maximum composition 0 0.41 now one more exercise that you can do we'll place the result then we can enter the composition stream now one more thing we can do instead of this uh, plug flow reactor we can select the continuous state tank reactor so we'll delete this and we'll select the continuous state tank reactor the same reaction we'll observe in continuous state tank reactor but here there are two outlets so we will select the liquid outlet as a product and we can make another stream that is a vapor parameters no need reaction we can select set one then a rating we can select the same volume 0 0.1 meter cube diameter and height it will automatically calculate and if you click on the worksheet see the composition now here in the product we are getting styrene 0 0.5685 and then the vapor 0 0.3595 so in this way you can just compare the composition 
of the styrene by using plug flow reactor and continuous state tank reactor so i hope uh, you will like this video any comments you can please enter in the comment box